Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Our Lady of the Drowned Lake, Zero Reporter. Or just Our Lady of the Drowned Lake, it looked like a really cool game, it sort of reminded me of, um, what was it, Dark Woods? I think of Dark Woods, Dark Woods? No, Dark Wood, yeah, that game that a lot of people wanted me to play, and I played a lot in the past when my channel was a wee baby. But it gave me, I guess, Darkwood vibes? And a bunch of other kind of vibes, so it's like fishing related. Maybe like Yames. Yames and Darkwood is at least what the store page gives me the impression of. So I'm really looking forward to this. So let's see, we have WSD to control a boat, space to cast your, your line at suspicious red zones, mouse to choose actions, and luck in the dice to avoid the noise. And happy fishing. No. Yeah. The presentation of the game thus far, though, has been really interesting. This episode of Zero Reporter was supposed or supposed to be a night, a night fishing trip. I've been looking forward for this. The guide and I were going to fish in our in the Our Lady of the Drowned Lake, trading stories about the the Riverside community. Only, something happened before I arrived. They were vague. I believe some boats sunk here recently. The guide mentioned something. Uh, something they. The guide mentioned they'd lost some bet. That fishing now would be like gambling with the lake itself. I can only chalk this up to some sort of local folklore. I think they called it the waters. Caboclo. What? Or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, I didn't drive all the way there for nothing. I'm not letting you down, folks. If I have to fish by myself, so be it. Just me, the camera, and the fishing rod. Yeah, let's do it. WSD, uh, suspicious response. Don't let the noise rise in your ears. I don't get what that means. Whisper in your ear. Don't let the noise rise in your ears. How do we go fishing though? Is it in frontal swing? I'd have to go on the circles. I got a bite. Oh, noise. Real and normal, 10% of increased noise. Observe. If I got a bite, then... Real and normal. Come on, fishy. Twenty percent. Oh, this is twenty percent. You're not getting away. Nice. Only five noise. I'm not sure if it diminishes afterwards then, or if the five percent is the total. It's some kind of tilapia. Around 13 centimeters in size, a somewhat small but very nice fish. Fish like this one are the bread and butter of the local communities. Usually we send them back to the river, but I'm keeping this one. Yeah, it depends. Usually it's like at the fishing communities, it's like, if it's too small, then you let it back in so it has a chance to become an adult, and a chance to breed, and, uh, you know, be a family man. Or family mother. If it's too big, then usually, you know, if they, it's like some fishing communities also have it, so it's like, if they're way too big, it, it is a trophy fish, but at the same time, it's like, you're, they're a behemoth. They're chads of the ocean. You also should let them go. You What you want to catch are just the basic adults, the average Joe fish. If it's too huge and too small, you let them, in, you let them go, if you're a respectful fisherman. As much as, like, it's so tempting, you get, obviously, like, a huge fish, you're like, Oh, man, I want to eat this big boy. But you, you should let him go. Ah, oh, man, that noise did increase. Shit. Why would we want to observe? Why? It looks like... If we observe, why is there noise? That doesn't look like a goddamn fish. That seems like it would be a problem. Like, it doesn't... It looks like a boot. And why would I want to collect items if it's just a boot and not fish, you know? 
It doesn't look like fish. It looks like a sock. No sense in trying to get whatever that is. It's not a fish. We're going fishing. Fishing, not looting. So if it's the concept of uh, it doesn't look like a fish, and we notice that noise is a buildup through our entire fishing trip, then we only want to go fishing for fish. Well, maybe an eel. Wait, that looks like a horseshoe. And it's also really noisy. Now, let go. It just looks like a horseshoe. I'm not going to go fishing for horseshoes. Like, it could have been an eel, sure, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I doubt it. Wait, what? What? Is that like an army of dead bucks? What? Got a bite. Mm. What is this then? It's a clump of tobacco. I, I know it's a local custom to roll your own smokes around here. I wonder if the fishermen have other uses for this around here though. I mean, should I have let go of the other things, or would that be a mistake? Like, do I actually collect all the non-fishing stuff? I'm not sure. But I, don't, I don't see a reason to collecting junk, though. Unless there's an actual use of it in the game, I have no idea. Um, so loud! If I observe, does it reduce the noise? We'll, we'll, we'll just get this one, then. Oh, that increased the noise a lot. And something's weird about it. We'll collect it because it seems... Oh, that, yeah, okay, that increased the noise a lot. A caranca. This probably was it probably attached to the bow of the fishing boat that sunk here. As you folks at home probably know, these guys are used to scare... are, are used to scare evil away. How did it break off like this? Maybe this will help us in the long run so we don't get killed or anything. If it's meant to actually scare spirits away, bad spirits, then maybe it'll be a good thing that we got it. Rather than the bad thing that we got it. Not sure. But, um... It caused a lot of noise. Like, 20%. We have to figure out what the end game is, or... What'll happen based... Like, we had, it feels like a lot of this is trial and error. So we'll find out. Hmm? A ghost ship. Hmm. Got a bite. Can I just get fish again, please? 50%? Okay, if we observe... It's a little heavy. Let go, then. Hey! Ah! This is giving me a bad feeling. I, I, I want to know what it is, that's the thing. If it's heavy, then it's like a high risk, but what if it's high risk, high reward? That's the thing. I don't know. If it's a fish, maybe it won't be as heavy, or maybe it'll not cause as much noise. But I want to know what the heavy, noisy stuff is too. Unless it's just like a trap. What the fuck is this? Getting closer. I don't care now. The noise is maxed. I can't I can't help it. It looks like a gun. Hmm. Uh, nice. It's a knife. A little rusty, a little dull. Probably used to clean up the fish. Only that's not usually done, is it? Cleaning fish while in the boat, I mean. Well, it's here now. Well some people do. Although in fishing fishing spawneries or whatever, or lakes, usually it's frowned upon to do that. It depends. So wait, what, what, what is this? Maybe it's like, just, it, I thought it was like dead, big, <laughs> big dead bugs, but I'm going to assume it's just a pile of leaves. With all the noise the way it is, though, 
It's at the top, but what does that mean? There's a lot of questions I have. And no answers. A tower? Like, what if we just fished for absolutely everything we found? This looks like a big one here, folks. Wait. Something's not right. Uh-oh. Death? Uh-oh. Drown noise, you've lost the gamble, kid. Pay up. Um... Attack with it. Show the Kranka. Should I have hacked him with my knife? Um, did we lose? Showed the fish, so the tobacco that we got. The horseshoe I could have gotten. At least I was right. The statue that I... Well, actually, now this just looked like one of the things I would have gotten. That that I did get. I don't know if I won or lost. Oh, I'm so confused. Hey, if we only collected junk... But I don't even know what happened. Did I get taken? Did I make the wrong choice? Did I succeed? And something going to happen? I'm so confused. Okay, well, uh, let's look at the store page. Okay, let's see. So the response a, the developer made was saying, The initial idea was to have slight variations depending on your offering at the end. Due to the jam's time constraints, we chose to make a simpler ending in order to deliver a more solid overall experience. However, getting more items will let you get more context uh, on what's happening at the lake. They, they plan on releasing a full version or sequel in the future. Well, I don't know, I can give it another try. I just would have to, I guess... Uh, it is a game jam game, I guess, though. I'm not sure how long it took for them to make it, but, you know what, I'll give it another try. And uh, then try to collect as many items as I can, though a lot of it will have to be based on luck. But we'll try to catch absolutely everything. It just felt like everything we tried to fish for... It got heavier and heavier and more problematic. But, um... No, I'm kind of curious then. If we get more things that relate to... The lore... Like, maybe just like not even go fishing to catch the fish. I don't know about the horseshoe, though. That just looks like it would be junk. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I want to try to catch everything, though, just to see maybe what lore we can learn before considering it a day. Alright, so, this one was... God damn a boot. A ruined boot, nothing but trash. Ah, that was a waste. That's what I thought it was originally. I should have listened to myself. It just means I think all the locations have the same things and it's not randomized. So, like, this one should just be the fish. Alright, so it looks like there's a big one here. We're going to... Oh, wait, we already got the, the drowned dude? Yeah, well, uh... Attack with a knife! Hmm. So it is, like, what the developer said. If you gather the specific items, they will give you a little bit of a response on what it is, like they did with the knife. Or the, uh, Karanko, if I'm pronouncing it right. And interesting, then. But I definitely would rather than wait for a more, uh, finished experience. Whether they do just simply enhance the game, like, make... I'd suggest the developer, unless they're just really not in the mood, just make... Make a director's cut, you know, or a post-jam or director's cut, you know, what name it, whatever you want. But if you expand upon it the way you wish, I mean... There's no reason why not to. Especially, it's like you, it's like marketing or publicity wise, you're not losing out on anything. You could make a new page or store page on itch.io, for instance. 
you know, if it expands upon the game probably enough, it's not just reposting. One is a gem entry, I'm presuming. Um, but it's like if you were to expand upon it, you know, people would definitely replay it just to see what new things have been added, uh, what more intrigue and mystery and things that you've added to the game, you know, and what lore you could find with each of the items and what the endings, like, what happens when you do give the fish to the end, like, the dude uh, that's underwater. I was able to only fish for two things before the dude popped out while my first try got, what, like, four different things? We got the fish, the Karanko, the knife, and could have had the horseshoe, but I wasted my time. But the, the boot, it's like, if you play the game, it's best just, like, to know where the things are, so it's like, if the boot, don't waste your time. Horseshoe, I would see if the guy labels it as junk, because I highly doubt there's going to be some kind of, like... This is an Aztec treasure. The Aztecs used to throw horseshoes for a hobby and for fun, for sport, and give us a huge in-depth analysis on the magical horseshoe capabilities from the Aztecs and shit like that, you know? Probably not, but I'd still want to catch everything just to read what the guy says, for the sake of lore or just to know what's considered junk or not. But I'm going to presume the boot and the horseshoe are probably both junk. But either way, interesting ambience. And, uh, no, just as I thought, it gave a little bit of Darkwood vibe, but just not as an ex... Just a little kind of trial or demo, almost. I'd want it expanded upon, but, you know, whatever the, whatever the developer wants to do. But, hey, if you enjoyed the ambience that the game offered and what the game could possibly be, then, hey, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Oh.